Hey guys, how are we doing this morning? Um, we are in our unit three, topic B. We are writing equations, people. We are writing solving equations all unit long. So again, it's not like one of those things of where we're seeing different kind of little bits and pieces. It's still all about writing and solving equations. So let's get to lesson number eight here. All right, lesson eight. Enter them. Again, if you haven't watched your notes, please, please get those taken care of um, because all of your questions come from some form of variety there. And unless you've seen them once or twice, um, you're not going to start connecting the dots and using those strategies. So, all right, let's go here. We've got uh, Mrs. Uh, what? Canales? Can Canales? Yeah, sure. Um, anyway, Mrs. C, she's selling frozen pizza. Well, not her. Her class is selling the frozen pizzas. You're going to earn money for the field trip. All right, every pizza sold. The class makes $5.35. All right, they already have $180. $182.09 toward their 700 goal. How many pizzas must they sell to earn $750? Okay, so again, if I'm going to go kind of visualize here, um, let's kind of see what we've got going on here. Um, we've got, uh, you know, $5.35 each particular time that we go through this. So another $5.35, another $5.35, another $5.35, dot, 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 dot. We don't know how many. Here's the consistent theme that we've seen over and over again. It's going to be a multiplication. All right, because we don't know how many that they're going to be. Five dollars and thirty-five cents times x. They got to sell twenty of them, thirty of them, seventy-five of them, one hundred nineteen of them. What's it at? Now they've already earned one hundred eighty-two dollars and ninety cents. Okay, so we've already got that amount. And we want it to be 750. Now, some people go ahead and they subtract right away and they make it into a one step equation. Like, I get it. But remember, when we write our equations here, we want to use all the given information. So we don't want to do any addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We don't want to do any of that until our equation is set up. And here it is. Because now, what's the first step going to be? Yeah, we're going to undo that addition. So we subtract from both sides certainly do not mind if you break out your friend the calculator here uh 750 let's take away 182 dollars and 90 cents did you beat me by doing mental math no I didn't okay all right um 567 dollars and no not 20 cents that should be a 10 cent there all right and then bye bye so i still have my five dollars and 35 Let's undo some multiplication by doing some division. Hopefully, you've done a better job of spacing out your problem than I have. I'm going to come up here now. All right. We're going to divide both sides by $5.35. Let's see here. Punch that in. And oh, did that come out nice? Exactly 106. Oh, my goodness. Now, here's what we want to make sure because these are the next level questions. These are quiz type questions. Let's just pretend. Let's just pretend. We can get $567.10. Let's just pretend. Now, you don't have to write this down, but follow along with me here. Let's pretend you got $568 and you divided it by your $5.35. All right. Let's just pretend that was the amount there. So uh, 568 divided by $5.35. And then I get 106.168. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So here we go. How many pieces now do we have to sell? 106, right? Because you're rounding, right? We're rounding. No, 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 no. We're not rounding here. All right. We have to interpret that answer. One oh six, is that enough? No, it's not, because the amount is somewhere right in between here. All right. So one oh six is not enough. It puts us just short of it. We would need to get to one oh seven. So in this case, one oh seven would be. So again, watch your interpreting. All right, that's one of the things that we want to make sure. So we've had little things that have kind of popped up here. Make sure that you're actually answering the question when you solve it. Um, you are going to have to interpret your answer sometimes because it's not just about what my calculator says. Uh, it's about relating it back to the question. All right, there we go. Um, let's go on to what question number two here is. Um, oh, visual perimeter of a rectangle. Remember, rectangle. All right, you remember what a rectangle looks like? <laughs> there we go. Perimeter. Perimeter means we add up all the sides, all right? Uh, it's the total distance uh, of the shape there, around the shape. 
So um, perimeter of a rectangle is 42. We know when we add up all the sides, it's going to be 42. Uh, if the length is 4 times its width, okay? So for a rectangle, uh, we have length and width. It really doesn't matter which one you say is where because you can always turn your rectangle. Um, and then I'll change it there. But here's the thing is the length, the length is, is means equals four times the width. And the width is, we don't know, so it's W. So that tells us that that length, we're not going to use that length X there. All right. We're going to use 4W. And again, the length is four times width. Things we know about a rectangle. Opposite sides are the same length, so this is 4w, it must be 4w on the other side. This is w, it must be w on this side. So, w plus 4w, w, 4w, again, add up all the sides, has to give us 42 inches. Add it all up there, uh, you do get a 10w when we combine our like terms. We're going to divide both sides by 10 to solve our equation. Hello, 4 and 2 tenths. Thank you, elementary school teacher. Hopefully you don't have to divide by 10. We're going to get this added to this left. All right. So here we go. Find the dimensions. Find the dimensions. Yeah, you know what? This is important here. I'm going to right here. Oh, oh. Yo, why is that so important here? Well, let's look. Find the dimensions. The width is 4 and 2 tenths. We need the length. Remember, the length is 4 times the width. So if the width is 4 and 2 tenths, the length is going to be 4 and 2 tenths times. Four, and that is 16 times 10. So there's a winning answer, and there's a winning answer. Um, I guess I want to be even more formal. I can say that too. It's good to label. It's good, people. All right. So um, you have to, again, continue to solve equations, set up and solve. Um, not a bad idea to be going back into some of that old classwork, all right, and get into them because. Again, there's lots of varieties of them. And once you kind of get one of them down, you can start applying them to other situations. And that's what we're trying to do. All right. See you later.